Hello YouTube, WJ's Handy Dad here. Today we're going to tackle the problem of the seat belt that won't fully retract. And simultaneously while we're doing that, we're going to solve the problem of having a nasty seat belt that may have God knows what on it. And we're going to go ahead and clean all that up in the process. On the charger, the plastic piece that covers up the seat belt is actually bolted in. So you need to pull up on these trim pieces and that will expose it's a Phillips screw in the front and rear. And once you remove that, then the panel piece will come off. And here's the view of the front. There's the screw and this panel piece just basically snaps down. So pull straight up on it and kind of move it out of the way. The charger is unique, or at least different than the Crown Vic, in that the seat belt is attached to the seat in the charger. And so you just pull up on this panel here, and that will expose. And it's kind of a reverse Torx to uh, remove it from the seat. So it's an E12 bolt. Basically, you have a Torx socket. generally recommend that you put the bolt back in hand threaded just so you'll remember where it is and that releases that part of the seat belt we're gonna need to remove this little guide here also appears to be a Phillips screw right there and down below looks like Possibly a wire connector, and it looks like the retaining bolt right there where my finger was pointing. Once I remove all that, I will see if there's anything else holding it up, but that looks like all of it. With the top, you don't have to remove any of this. You just pull this cap off, which just snaps on, and it exposes that retaining bolt right there. Once you remove this bolt, you'll be able to get the top part of the seat belt out. And just gotta remove that and the whole thing will come out of the car. So this says T50 on it. That seems too big, but maybe that's right. Um, but before I unbolt anything else, I'm gonna go ahead and pull the seat belt all the way out then once it's all the way out I'm gonna go ahead and clip it so that it stays fully out that way once it's off the vehicle I won't have to mess with trying to pull it out of there uh, my experience with the Crown Vic was out of the car you could only pull it out about a half inch at a time whereas in the car you can smoothly you know, fully extend the belt and that way it'll be ready to wash once we get it out. So the belt is now fully extended, clipped off, and I will be ready to unbolt the Torx bolt at the top, the bolt at the bottom, and once that one bolts out, I think this whole piece will come out. If not, I will let you know. All right, it's out. So there's one more screw there that holds a guide that I didn't mention earlier. And once you unbolt it from the bottom, it's easier if you have the rubber floor to pull this clip up so that you have access because this piece comes kind of up and tilts out of there. You see at the top what it's retained by is these little, like, J-shaped hooks there 
and those have to come out of these slots so kind of pull those up you can also see how nasty this is the fire extinguisher that went off in the car before I got it I thought I'd gotten all the fire extinguisher mess out but there's more so I'll be cleaning that up as well tray cleaned out so this tray comes totally out just pull straight out of there clean both sides spray it with a little 303 and uh, just sits right back in there got all the bolts that are removable or loose basically finger tightened into where they go this one stays with the seat belt yeah just like with the crown Vic got the clips holding Basically the parts of the seat belt that can't be washed. Although I'm gonna go ahead and just put this piece in the water because it doesn't look like there's anything breakable on there. This side I'm a little hesitant to get wet. I did wipe it down and sprayed a little dry lubricant in the metal areas that were exposed. And just like the Crown Vic, it says not to remove or try to disassemble this, so I'm not going to. I imagine there's probably some spring loading in there that may go shooting out. So my mix here is just warm water, laundry soap, color safe bleach, and a little OxyClean. I'll let it soak for a while. Also have the carpet brush. I'll scrub the belts down and get any uh, ground in dirt or oil off of them. So after you've you know basically scrubbed them really well and then rinsed them really well this is how I dry them actually let them hang dry I'll wipe them with a towel too but basically I use the weight of the water in the bucket to hold this side up and then I just suspend them clip them to there You can use a blow dryer, towel, blower, whatever you want to use. Really, a lot of it depends on how hot it is, what kind of weather you're experiencing. So the torque specs on this are kind of crazy. It's 27 foot-pounds on the bottom. It's 30 foot-pounds on the top. And it's 24 on the one on the seat. And then the screws, they list as 20 inch pounds, which I mean, honestly, just tighten it with a screwdriver. But um, so I thought that was interesting, though, that the bolts were all different. 